standing on a hill overlooking Tintin Abbey is St Mary's Church. Little is known of this burnt-out husk of a building, but it is thought to be 14th to 15th century in origin due to the medieval materials that can be found at the eastern end. It was almost completely rebuilt in 1866 by John Pritchard, a Welsh architect whose work largely consisted of restoration commissions such as Landaff Cathedral. It's because of his work that the church received a Grade II listed status despite the fire, which completely gutted it, because the church is of architectural interest. The church fell out of use in 1972, and some of its contents were sold to Clearwell Castle. It is now largely a shell of a building, home to ivy and wildlife. Made of random limestone rubble and bathstone coins and dressings, its nave and chancel are still standing. Only the tower is still roofed with stone slates, but it still has its homely water stoop, several ornamental recesses and a broken font. The churchyard also contains several interesting early 19th century Grade II listed monuments. This neoclassical tomb with pyramid has been dated to around the 18th or 19th century. This early 19th century neoclassical tomb with sarcophagus is thought to be the resting place of Richard White, a man who once owned the leasehold of the local ironworks. The tomb was collapsed in on itself, but it was thankfully restored in 2013 and now looks almost brand new. St Mary's Church is a fascinating and beautiful place to visit. Its fire-damaged ruins add an air of mystery and the graveyard is well kept and full of the people of Tintin. Both ancient graves and new, lying side by side, each with their own story to tell. This little church on a hill is well worth taking the time to explore.